Alrighty guys, how you doing? This is Malik here back again to go over an error that I had today and it was talking about error, DNS server isn't responding. Now this is like, it's per se you don't have internet but everybody else in your house is capable of just getting online and you, you know your, your, your computer just somehow just can't get online so this this is some ideas that I came across that help me now what you want to do here is go to your network nope I lied you need to travel to your this yeah Network and sharing center there. If you saw how I got there. I just I just clicked network and then I went through here. This is on Windows uh, 8.1 though. <clears throat> okay, and after you get here, what you need to do is change change the adapter settings, and now you're gonna see two things here. Now I'm on my Wi-Fi here and what you need to do is go into properties now go down a little bit <clears throat> then you'll see internet protocol version for IPv6 basically and then go into properties with that now I have mine set on automatically right now because I have my router sending out the DNS servers I'll show you that in later and what you need to do here basically is just for your preferred DNS you need to just go 8888 and then go down and then your alternate DNS server would be 8844 alrighty and you just click OK I'm not gonna click OK because I, since I already have it set up alright and now say you want you know if you just want to change your IPv6 as well you can just go in here click the use f the f following DNS server automatically and now what you need to enter is 2001 colon 4860 colon 4860 colon colon 8888 now you would do the same thing at the bottom 4860 colon colon but 8844 right then click OK I'm not gonna click OK like I did in the other one because I already have it set up on my router and then just click OK I'm gonna just hit cancel and then <coughs> you shouldn't have any problems with the connecting to DNS server now we're gonna head over to another issue that I also found that could be the problem say you have well I have the uh, antivirus protection Bitdefender on my computer and <clears throat> what you need to figure out is if it's the firewall blocking you from accessing the DNS servers because that was the problem I had and what I had to do was go into manage adapters turn my network type into home and office and s turn the stealth mode off because if I were to turn it on it would then disconnect from the DNS server and I wouldn't be able to access the internet again because the basic basically what I did was I turned off the firewall at first and then to see if I was able to get on the internet and I was so then I turned it back on and I went to manage adapters and I just was playing around with this and then I turned generic to no stealth mode off and home and office setting then I closed that and everything was working perfectly <clears throat> now we're gonna go into the setting up your router now now I have a Linksys router so what I'm going to do is just type in 
my Linksy's uh, address to get to it. Yours may be different. Now, what you may see here, this is not the regular Linksy's thing because I, uh, how you say, customizing my router so I can, you know, get a better performance. DDWRT is uh, open source type of firmware to help you get better performance out of your regular router, you know. That, that was my choice to do it. It does void your warranty, though, so I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want to, you can go ahead. Now, I you would go into setup or wherever you can find it. I then you know it's gonna ask you to log in. Just log in. Hold on here. Setup. All right, and then you go down to where it would say uh, network address service settings, and then. In your DNS 1 and DNS 2, you would enter the numbers 8.8.8.8. .8 that would be in the first line for DNS 1, and DNS 2 now would be 8.8.4.4. .4. And then you just apply settings. And now any anybody who would access this router now would have the ability to get uh, to Google's public DNS servers and well then you shouldn't have any problems with your DNS server not responding again as long as you fixed your firewall to have it capable of accessing it with your antivirus and uh, yeah those are just basically the three things I found out how to fix my DNS server not responding and now everything seems to be running great so I hope it this helped you and you can just pass it on to your friends now if this helped you please leave a comment on the video saying that it helped you if not we can uh, sort something out you know probably find other ways of doing it and you know you can also like the video and subscribe if this worked for you Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.